grey, all red, all red lights were lit, certainly, and pedal to the metal certainly was Usher. Juju Noda, again, suffering at the very start, spinning the rear tyres. It certainly did open the door for Josh Mason, who then made his way to tackle Jakob Bergmeister, who had the early lead, of course. Mason going around the outside, taking the long way round, did so superbly, executed as well, hung on, and managed to actually take the lead in the initial and held on to it too. Simonazzi as well would come close together as well with Anna Bryce Aaron as they made their way through the initial stint. Simonazzi unfortunately running off track as he did so prior in previous races. Heading through turn 13, they would remain side by side before venturing through 14. Bryce Aaron once again having that inside line, the favourable one too, that would tee up yet another scrap heading down through towards turn one. Simonazzi would then try and muscle him side by side, but a clip there of the tyres would force him out wide and therefore be looking to recover. Bryce Aaron able to have a little bit of a gap, but there was more battles and a lot more contact further on as well. As they made their way through turn five, we saw the two motor park cars come together. That, of course, being that of Key and Shields as Norleon looked to try and move up a spot. Juju Noda moved herself up into second place after a comprehensive and brilliant overtake of fellow rookie classification driver Jakob Bergmeister as she tried to lay down a fight to that of Josh Mason. They came down through towards turn two. Noda left it late, had a very wide outside line, but did enough to cut through the inside, much to the delight of the Noda racing team as she then persevered and tried to gain on P1's Josh Mason. They came together right at the very end. The final lap came together. They switched sides. They made their way through turn two and Mason very fortunate not to come a cropper but Juju Noda sustaining some severe damage to the front wing and the suspension which unfortunately cost her the potential race win.